All right, guys, so I'm going to show you a feature inside of machine tools called surface slide. If you come from Max or Maya, you'll know this as face constraint. So let's go ahead and just check it out. Uh, we're going to set it up first and then I'll demo it real quick. But uh, if we go into preferences, add on tab and type in machine with three or just type in M-A-C-H. You want to enable surface slide when you install this add on. And uh, you'll need to enable the modes pie uh, to get started here. Just toss this over to the side. I want to point something out here real quick is that um, usually it's on the modes pie if you go into edit mode here so when you hit the tab key you get the modes pie right surface slide is in edit mode it's right here now I personally don't use this modes pie because I'm often in and out of other modes and so I'm not just using vertex faces and edges and going back and forth between object and uh, edit mode I'm going to sculpt oftentimes or whatever else vertex colors and stuff so with that in mind, if you want to use this without the modes pie, you're going to have to do a little procedure here uh, to get it to work. And it's kind of a little workaround right now. And so if you go ahead and press F3 and type in um, surface smooth or surface slide, you'll see here it pops up. You can right click on that, add it to your quick favorites. All right. Now uh, you have to actually turn it on. So if we hit tab, turn it on, you'll see it's on surface sliding. Now you can do another F3 and type in surface slide, finish surface slide here, finish surface slide, and add that to your quick favorites. You're going to need both of those. At this point, if you don't want this uh, mode pie, you can actually just turn it off in your preferences now. So I had that on my other monitor, but you just turn it off and save your preferences. Okay. And now um, if you press Q, you're going to have your quick favorites. You can see you have finish and surface slide. So right now it's on. I'm going to turn it off, but you can turn it on with one turn it off with the other you're good to go it's in your quick favorites all right machine tools adds a geometry um, shape in here I want to point out as well so if I subdivide this cube and add a couple subdivisions to it we're going to do three um, we can add a cast after and then we can go ahead and just right click convert to mesh this is a quad sphere okay machine tools adds this by default and under mesh create so shift a create quad sphere bam done save you a little bit of time and this is a subdivisions level of three and i'm turning wireframes off with my mouse here so i'm using a shortcut on my mouse and hitting this wireframe on and off thing if you're wondering how that's going on all right so what does surface slide do well when you're in edit mode you can enable or disable it so we're going to enable it so i'm going to use q bam there we go and I could select sections like this if I want. No problem. Let's actually start here. Go to here and then here. Okay, cause, so I can select these. Um, but what Surface Slide is doing is it's adding like a temporary um, shrink wrap on, on this original shape. And it's trying to preserve this shape so you're not going to end up messing it up too much. It works really good on like a single level area right like kind of a flat surface or a round surface you don't want to have like multi levels so i'm going to show you what i'm talking about here in a sec but uh, we can do something like an inset on this but we can't extrude no more it's going to just act crazy um, the reason being is that uh, what this does is it constrains to the face basically and so we can rotate this and try to move this in all different directions so i'm just pressing r or g and, and trying to move it around you'll see it tries to stay in the same shape which is extremely useful. This is something the Blender devs probably should have included with Blender by default, but um, they definitely didn't. So you can always just disable it, inset it, and then um, hold control while insetting, inset, do something like this, right? Subdivide it again. So in object mode, I'm gonna hit control three, I turn off the uh, subdivision and edit mode with this icon. And so you can make these little variations now, no problem. Here's where it's going to become a problem, though. If I was to turn surface slide back on, and let's say I select all this through here, doing a select more there, by the way. So select more, and um, I try to rotate this. You'll see that it, now it's really getting geeked up. So a single level of surface is what you really want to work with because it's still acting like there's a dip here, and it's trying to figure everything out. And that's just, it's not going to work real well for things like that. So once you do an inset like this, you're pretty much not going to be able to um, utilize that again. You might have to go back and do um, a couple dissolves. I'm going to do a border selection. So once again, select loops, uh, boundary loop, not border, boundary. There we go. Uh, I can press Control X, dissolve that. 
I can select all this in here. Do this real quick. And um, resolve that. You have to kind of clean it back up, basically, is all I'm getting at. In order to keep using it. And because um, <laughs> the way we did this, yeah, it's not... It's not ideal. It's not an ideal situation. It's going to be hard to repair, right? So be mindful of what you're creating and how you're creating it before you actually go off and do it. Uh, you want to make sure that you work in steps or iterations on your models and uh, create duplicates and quick little backups if you're not sure how something's going to work out. It'll save you a ton of pain in the future. So, And you see, I can, uh, with surface sliding on, I guess I can push in a little bit, but Let's turn it off, inset, hold control, push out. You see, I can do something like that with that. Okay, so really useful tool. Just remember to turn it off. And uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll check you out in the next one. All right, take care.